Greetings from the past, my fellow time travelers, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. And we're switching on this bad boy. And... Yep, yep, yep. Nice. But we're so going to get caught, aren't we? Ooh -hoo. Sexy. Hey there. No. Time to do or die, Max. Well, well, well. I'm going, I'm going. Into the ladies' locker. At least, I guess. Rage. Uh, dear Kate, I don't care. God. Wow. Assholes. Brooke's locker. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive in with Warren. Ooh. Ship Where it. does that other sock go? Swimming. Possible. <laughs> What's that? Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. <laughs> Outer seat beavers. Kate's locker. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? No. Shouldn't hope so. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. What? Am I supposed to change at some point? Talk about being in the Sancto Sanctorum. Thanks, Latin class. I barely passed. Off Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight, going through his files and laptop with Chloe. She was way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes. I just pretend that we were on a very special episode of The Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh wow. You know, just a couple of wacky Sherlock's investigating the school for a good cause. Yeah, that helped. While we didn't find that proof, we found Nathan's file had a weird drawing in it that just says Rachel in the darkroom over and over. So that's a major clue that Nathan is involved in this somehow. Or he's just insane. But his note also referenced David M. Which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's secret bunker files. For a good cause. But Chloe just can't help herself and she actually wants to take five grand in cash marked handicap fund. Cause that's gonna be legit, am I right? I can't think of a faster route to karma hell. But it would have paid off Chloe's debt to Frank. I stopped her, but it kind of bothers me that Chloe can be so selfish like that. I'm not going to let anything happen to her. But I can't just let her do anything she wants. Mad Max? More like Mommy Max. No. Who are you? So... How do I take off my clothes? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Oh wow. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. No. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. <laughs> Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. And there goes Max. Cowbunga! <laughs> Oh. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. <laughs> and I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so cute together. <laughs> well, well, well. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> No. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power wow. is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. <laughs> You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? Oh. You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had? Thank God. But what if I had? What if? 
Kate didn't jump, but you would be... dead. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have <laughs> Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. No. You're the bro killer. <laughs> You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and tubes. You did not just say that. <laughs> Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Oh, so cute. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. <laughs> I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. No. So. Are we Oops. heading home? I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Oh shit. Hi! Oh shit, no! 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 Where? Where? We have to go now! I know! I'm running! At least I'll try! Go! Are you shitting me? Oh, fudge! Why? Dude, hide! Like when we were kids! I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where is he? Oh god. Oh god, my heart is racing! Hello? Anybody there? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. I have to rewind, now! How did he see me back here? Serious. I'm not trying. I heard something over here. No. She didn't. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Shit! Matt! Rewind I know! Now. I know! Oh come on! Come back here, you douchebag! Come on, come on, come on! Hello? Anybody there? <sighs> Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. You don't. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Just go away. Go away. <laughs> there are two of them. What the heck am I supposed to do now? Oh god. We 
You're so invisible. Oh my god, I fall. <laughs> Jeez. So stupid. So stupid. Girls, you're so stupid. <laughs> Boy. Wait. Turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this wow. is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Into the car. Get in. Oh my god. They'll notice. Yes, we so are. Oh my god. Come on, there's no way that the Steptish didn't see the car in front of the school. There's just no freaking way. Well, I guess we'll see. Just please be quiet. And don't say a thing. Next day. Ooh. So. No. <laughs> I can't sleep. Holy shit, it's. But I can't read that. <laughs> Good morning, sweeties. No. No morning here. That's mean. Take a selfie. Always remember this moment. <laughs> oh. Cutie. So. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. <laughs> like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every no. great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Since you left, basically. No. I can find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. Mm, kind of. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Aww. I don't want to get a copyright. Stop with the music. Shoo shoo. Music, music, music. I don't want to have the music in the background. No, no, no. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Oh, yeah. Man, if I had stayed hidden, <laughs> David wouldn't be targeting me. No. Hey there. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I have an extra one, in case you change your mind. No, I don't think so. So, get dressed. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. No. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Oh, yeah. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. <laughs> hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. <laughs> I like my shirt and jeans. 
But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? <laughs> I double dare you. Kiss me now. <coughs> <coughs> Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh. Sorry, finger oh, slipped. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. <laughs> so sweet. So. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, <laughs> some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. <laughs> Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? No. So, then let's go. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. No. Go take a photo. Yeah, we can. I thought so. <laughs> and there's the bird again. Yay. Kate! No way. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you as soon as I can. I promise. Oh, so sweet from you. Despite all the usual breaking in and blowing up offices, hikings, Chloe decided what we needed more than anything was to take a night swim in the Otter Slayer. I was so giddy and robust that I was like, oh yes, we shall swim. We didn't completely skinny dip, but close enough to get in big trouble no matter what. I don't know why we were so careless after being so careful. I love that Chloe brings out the just don't give a fuck side of me. Even if that hasn't always served her well. She deserved a moment of not giving a shit. Me too. Just two friends goofing around in the pool. I fear those youthful shenanigans might soon be a thing of her past. God, I'm starting to sound like one of the teachers at Blackwell. Chloe and I had a nice chat about our lives since I left. We talked about dumb boys and girls and why they're in trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about our life experience. She has me so beat. I take pictures, she takes action. Speaking of action, we had to seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh! How quiet could we be in the swimming pool? Plus, after leaving a trail of our Blackwell handiwork. It was so intense and exciting to get past the security guards. They had serious spotlight power, so it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past. Especially as we had to bail and close junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Hella like Chloe Price. Oh, hell yeah. Hey there, Brody. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> no way. That's the blue boat I saved Monday in Joyce's room. No. Oh, I can brush What's my teeth. ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. And now you're using yours? I mean, and now you're... What? So it was hers or am I wrong right now? It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And the hygiene. I would have taken a shower. Yeah, could we know about the hair dye thingy? But can we help the bird? For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Can we help the bird get I'd out? I'd better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Ew. I can't save the bird. 
I'm confused. Go downstairs. Hey there, Joyce. So, good morning. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Holy, oh, wow. you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. <laughs> tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Oh my god, pancakes! I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> no. We would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. <laughs> sure thing, Egg Joyce. Milk? No problem. <laughs> no. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Shouldn't eggs and milk be... Oh, okay. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Yeah, but what's up with the milk? With the milk. Where's the milk? Is it outside? I thought like milkman and something like that. Whatever. Where should Come it on, be? Max, find those ingredients so we can chow down. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> sometimes yeah, it's way milk. easier. Okay. Who drinks beer this early around here? Hopefully not Joyce. Here you are. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. No. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. What? Is Rachel okay? Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. No, <laughs> Max Caulfield. Are you actually jealous of Rachel? No way. What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No. No. Just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. <laughs> and when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks. But it seems like <laughs> Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what? A century old? <laughs> You're only 18, <laughs> Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila! A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. <laughs> I will. But first... Can I go outside? I can. Uh. What's up with the dead bird? Ooh, dead bird. Poor thing. What the? Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Idiot. Why is there a basketball up there? Well, there's nothing special outside here except the dead birds. The poor ones. Oh! Talking about birds. Hey there. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Bird out of here. I try? Oh. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Please don't. Hey there. Yay! Oh, come on. We can sure take a photo of him. 
That would be so obvious. Hey there. And there we go. Nothing else can escape me. At least no photo. Thank you, Birdie. And we have something new again and that photo is awesome. <laughs> Even though my body smelled like I had been dosed in chlorine, it was so nice to crash in Chloe's room for the first time in five years and wake up next to her like our old sleeper was. For some reason, it reminded me of the time we were going to TP one of the neighbor's houses and we even snuck out but got chicken and ran back home laughing all the way. <laughs> I remember waking up the next day and Joyce was making one of her delish breakfasts downstairs and Chloe smiled at me like we were in the most secret club in the world. Or at least a cardio bay. We were pirates, damn it! After our academic whatever, last night I felt the same way. It's just that now the stakes are much higher and much more dangerous. I even ended up in some of Rachel Amber's clothes since mine were trashed. Avanti and ripped jeans. So not me. But I haven't found my style yet, so why not have some fun experimenting with a new outfit? Speaking of experiments, Chloe dared me to kiss her. So I did. She probably thought it was out. Why? It wasn't that big a deal. Though it was cute the way she was kind of embarrassed after and said she would tell Warren. Besides, I think Chloe sees Rachel Amber in her future. Oh. Oh, Max. So we are going back inside. We are going back inside. And reading the newspapers. Oh man. I don't want to be famous for this. Mm hmm. I can relate to that. So, sit down. And watch Joyce making the pancakes. Pancakes, 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 pancakes. Yummy, yummy pancakes. Thank you so much, Joyce. Oh. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> so, eat. No. I'm so jealous right now. I want some pancakes too. So? No, that's what I call pancakes. <laughs> I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. <laughs> I guess nobody waters the plant here. No. So, what now? Oh, man. I don't want to be famous oh. seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. <laughs> My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. I'm just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. No. He had his car out right after this. And, and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In, in fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full no. of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. No. Speaking of the devil. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. Keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just wow. listen to yourself. 
Nobody else does. <laughs> go, Max. Go, Max. I but... do need to get into David's computer. We He's will. He's gotta be hiding shit. But guys, I know we should start sneaking around in the garage, but our session is sadly over. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, click on the notification bell down below so you get notified when I upload my videos. Share us on Twitter and on Facebook. And guys, I will see you in the future or back in a cardio day. High five. First ninjas, then spies.